All right, YouTube's going to be on. Hi guys. It's a little bit early, so I'm not gonna start yet. Can they hear me? Okay, yeah, you can hear, okay. Hi, me man, hi, burning letters, hi, rub man. Hello, bunny. It's a little early, like I said, so I'm not starting yet, but I'm kind of working on a skeleton crew here. So we're starting early so that my helpers can go. <laughs> fulfill their obligations that they have going on. So I'm going to walk around a little bit. Squiggly Tub, how you doing? Oh, you did apply again, you man? Did you have to apply again? Or did they like lose your application or something? Yeah. All right, well, like I said, it's gonna be a few minutes. Didn't get the message. Yeah, I don't know how it works, honestly. So I will be back in a minute or two. And um, yeah, then I'll get started. So I'll be right back. Hi, Jericho. Sorry about that. I need to grab something over here. That's my one son has an ear infection that we're working with. And okay. All right. So yes, hi guys. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> no wait, here comes the people. Come on, people. Come on down, as it were. Hi, Jane Parker. I see you on there. Um, that's my mom. She watches me too sometimes, <laughs> which is fun. So, yes. I'm going to be making just a small cake today. It's, it's actually very small, very simple. It's a Gengar cake. I got an order from a friend of mine who likes to have birthday cakes that are a little more fun. And so I figured I'd share it here. So, hopefully you'll enjoy watching it. I don't have any trivia or anything set up because, again, it's just like a really small, simple cake. My friend is invited to his fireside. Okay, okay, me man. I was like, what the heck, but all right. So, all right, yeah, I'm gonna get started. It's gonna be a lot of icing today and a lot of tips. I'm gonna use these tips. And the, the request was a Gengar cake, but she wanted it pink and girly and frilly. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll see what I can do with that. Oh, thank you for the charge sticker, by the way. AxDR Gamer. Um, yeah, I have the cake in the fridge right now. So I'm gonna take it out. And we shall begin. Alrighty. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen my... I know, I saw that, me man, I appreciate that. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I notice these things, that you're my top supporter now. Uh, oh, Bearded Muscle is here too. Hello, Bearded Muscle. I haven't seen you in forever. It's been a minute, <laughs> as it were. So, yes, Gengar Cake. Make it pretty, frilly, 
and that's it. So yeah, if you guys have seen, oh, thank you again, Aya Drevis for these charge stickers. I always appreciate those. They do help keep me going because this stuff ain't cheap and it ain't getting cheaper. Now, if you guys have seen my Five Nights at Freddy's cake that I made almost a year ago, uh, you might remember that the top tier was actually standing up on its side like that. So that is what I'm going to do for the Gengar cake. Because I could just lay it flat like this and put this in the center and, you know, put some flowers around it. But that's kind of boring, and I wanted to try to do it a little bit different, a little more interesting. So I figured standing up, coming at you, you know, would be more fun to look at, honestly. So, yeah. And if you guys <laughs> got to your quests, <laughs> I, that's funny. I was just talking to my husband about that. That kid, you guys will often, not often, but sometimes come on here and be like, oh, shoot, hold on, be right back. So, yeah. Take your time, no rush, I'll be here. Now I'm gonna start this by cutting off a bottom section. So if you guys are ever, you know, wanting to do this yourselves, you can do it yourself. Um, yeah, you just cut the bottom off. You wanna give yourself enough of a base so that it's not gonna fall over. And you wanna try to cut it as straight up and down as you can. And this is a Funfetti cake. So it's full of colors and sprinkles and everything else. I tend to go crazy with the sprinkles when I make funfetti. And this is the test. When you stand it up, is it going to stand up straight or is it going to stand up crooked? And it's pretty good. There's a little bit of a tilt, but it's facing, you know, this way. So that'll work. Okay. Oh, thank you for the charge sticker. Uh, you gotta go. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's all good. So yes, I'm going to cover this with pink icing first, then see where it ends up. And I've got a ton of pink icing over here. So I also have another cake that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. A memorial cake. My friend just lost her, her father-in-law. So they wanted it to be chocolate raspberry so I can use this pink mix it with some raspberry and it'll turn delicious because right now it's just vanilla buttercream Pokemon I know right like how fun to do a Pokemon cake but then to have to make it a little more girly and pink and flowery so I had asked her I was like can I uh, get a little more creative with it and she's like as long as it's frilly and pink <laughs> I said, mm, okay. So this has been in the freezer for a little while. It's another warm day here. So I can feel it kind of melting into my hand a bit, but that's all right. Yeah, I've gotten much more comfortable with these too. I don't know if you did see my Five Nights at Freddy's. I was like, oh my gosh, here we go. Everybody cross your fingers. Now I'm like, and then I says to him, I says, plop. Okay. Now because this is frozen, well, it's thawing, but the icing that I put on the bottom is going to chill really quick and kind of set like cement so that my cake shouldn't go anywhere. And as long as she keeps it inside and not outside, we'll be fine. The humidity and everything shouldn't hurt anything. So. You don't like people that go on firesides with lots of people just to advertise? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I could see that too. There's a fine line between chatting and advertising. But I typically don't care. So, yeah, standing. All right, now I just got to make it pink. And if you guys have any questions for me or whatever, you know, questions you want to just ask, stick them in the chat. I try to see them. Oh, you followed on game. Hi there, CCBG. <laughs> I just saw you just popped in. So I forget what I was saying. Mm, couldn't have been too important. But I've also, oh yeah, about the chat. Yes, what's a cake? A cake, what is a cake? That's a good question. I don't know. Because a cake and a cookie have very similar ingredients, but the texture is different. 
Hmm. It's kind of like a scone as well. I don't know. Getting all existential here on me. I don't know, but I did see in, um, it was the Sonic the Hedgehog fireside with the two uh, young women who were drawing. They were talking about the difference between frosting and icing. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> they weren't wrong. There is, there is a difference. <laughs> Yeah, and I always say I'm using American buttercream icing. It is frosting, technically. They were right. And icing, if you think about it, is like a glazed donut that cleared the clear icing that runs and, and kind of settles over it, but it's real thin and runny. That is more of the proper term for icing. This would be frosting, thick and poopy and not runny. Hopefully, unless it's really hot out. Cake is a meal. Oh, <laughs> is this when cake is a lie? Is that, or are we doing that again? <laughs> that cake's a lie. Because thank goodness I had Kazofsky here to help me with that one. Because I'm like, what? <laughs> and speaking of which, I hope you guys saw and appreciated that cake because I freaking nailed it. Not to toot my own horn or anything. That one came out really good. And I ate it, so that was also really good. Oh, thank you. I was not paying attention to where that was going. Thank you very much. This is getting difficult, because it's starting to catch the icing and make it firmer. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate plugs. All right, I need a better spatula. So, nail it. <laughs> yeah, right? They wouldn't let me on. I, I've i looked at some of those things, and um, if you're too good, then they don't let you on. They want you to be terrible and struggling so that you make the very funny-looking cakes that they they end up having on TV. And it's also not fair, by the way, because I have watched that show a number of times. And it's like, the things they ask them to do, I couldn't do in the amount of time they're given. So I feel like, you know, if I have an idea of what I'm doing and I still wouldn't be able to get it done in time, there's no way these people are going to be able to get it done in time. They're just being set up for failure. And you know darn well that those example cakes they're working off of that chef had plenty of time to make it how he wanted it. But if you didn't rush him, then you wouldn't have the funny results. So, yeah. Cake. So, yes. And I just started, speaking of, you know, Pokemon. I don't know how many of you guys are playing Pokemon Go. Or used to play it and got out of it, get back into it, whatever. But I've just... Not too long ago, I started playing it again. And I would always do it here and there when I was super bored and waiting in the parking lot for somebody. But now I've like really started to get back into it. And I'm just, yeah, you started playing it again. <laughs> you know what, Burning Letters? I think it's because I'm not asking any trivia questions. Maybe that's why. That the chat is quiet. That people are just observing. They're just watching. Watching the magic happen, right? And it's funny because I thought about it. I'm like, oh, this is not going to take long. It's not going to be worth it. So maybe next time, right? Next time, do it anyway. But yeah, I just started playing it again. And I've been playing, like, totally wrong all this time. And uh, I just learned about the different levels, the stars, the star rankings your Pokemon can be. Because I was always basing everything off of CP. So anytime my bag was full, I'm like, oh, you know, organize it according to CP, throw them away, throw them away. And I didn't realize I was throwing away like three stars and hanging on to these really high CP, zero star, nothing specials. So yeah, now I've basically had to start all over again to try to rebuild my little army.
<laughs> Sonic stickers. Are there Pokemon stickers? No, I don't think so, are there? By the way, me man, what's up? What do you want to say? I need this one. Pikachu is cool. Nom nom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm partial to the original starters. But I also, you know, watched the original cartoon with Ash and Misty and Brock. And then the other seasons came out with Tracy and other people, and I'm like, I can't. We just had cake at my after leave party for my friends. So you just had cake, but was it a Pokemon cake? And was it standing up and staring at you? Probably not. Oh, there is a Pokemon sticker. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more because it's really lumpy and bumpy. Then I think I'm gonna stick it in the fridge because I don't want this being too soft. Uh, leaving school to college? Okay. Yeah, my son is leaving and just finished school to go to college. He goes next month. And as long as I don't think about it, then I'm okay. Because he's my oldest one. And it's hard, the cake you had. Oh no, this looks a mess. It'll come together. It will come together in time. Once I put a border on it and make it prettier. <laughs> in this pink hodgepodge it is right now. Taste like rice? Why did your cake taste like rice? I don't quite get that one. Oh, school cake. Oh, so the school did it for the kids? It wasn't like a little private thing? Well, that's pretty cool that they do that, but I could see that not being as good. Mm, yeah. And is cake that popular over in the UK? Like over here? It's like, oh, you're you're, you know, potty training, have a cake. You are retiring, have a cake. Everything is celebrated with a cake. Which is good for me. Depends on the occasion. Yeah. So it's like if you go to somebody's house for dinner or it's like your parents do, do they bring a cake for dessert? Because that's a pretty common thing here too. It's like you bring a dessert. So you might bring a cake. All right. So this lumpy thing is going to go in the fridge for now. So goodbye, lumpy mess. Just don't fall. For a tea party. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, tea is not a big deal over here. And it's funny because people will open like tea houses or, or a tea, tea store where you can go and rent a table and have like a little tea party and they'll give you you know finger sandwiches and and cups of tea and stuff and it's like a special occasion thing you do once or twice for like your little girl's birthday but I mean of course there's tea drinkers here don't get me wrong but it's not like we I guess it's not as big a deal, I should say. All right. I think I'll make my Gengar now because that icing was a little softer than I liked. Who gets to eat the piece I cut off is what I'm being asked. Um, the piece I cut off, I don't know if anyone's going to eat it right now. Because chances are I will eat it if I like how the cake comes out. If I don't like how it comes out then I will lay the cake back down and then stick this piece back on and redo it. So 
Depends on how it comes out. Gooey, gooey. All right, we should have a Game Jolt themed camp <laughs> for the. Oh, there's a more Pokemon stickers. Yeah, so I just have a little Gengar I'm gonna make. You've seen me do this before, where it takes a little bit of time to put it together, but it's not too bad. He's pretty basic, actually. He's gonna be pretty simple. Hello, Jericho. Yes, I know. He loves cake. And I am using, this is, pretty sure this is gum paste. Yeah, this is gum paste. So anyway, all right, serious question now. Favorite starters, what generation? Because like I said, I go old school. I had made a post of my keychain that has Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charizard on it. So, and I know some people like the, hi Stripes, nice to see you here. Some people like the newer ones. Oh, I gotta let, take care of my dog. Hang on. She's okay. She's okay. Oh my goodness. She was so sad. She had to go bark a deer and then she got left outside. So sad. Hello there. Or is mix? I don't know. You like old school Pokemon? Yeah. There's something about them. The nostalgia, I guess. All right. So, I'm gonna use them as a template. Carve. Hmm, no, that should be thick enough. I'm gonna carve around him, and then I'll start adding his details. I'm getting another by the way. What's up, me man? Let's see, you are about five hours ahead of me, I think. So you're getting into evening. And I'm gonna outline every part of him. And if you can hear, I have a thirsty dog. Uh, a collab with Transformers as a comic? I have not seen that. I didn't hear anything about that. How do you... I, let me think. They're both Hasbro, right? My Little Pony and... and Transformers? Or Transformers Mattel? Shoot. Hmm. I don't know, I'll have to look that one up. That one's interesting to me and bizarre. <laughs> because I can't imagine, you know, friendship is magic versus, you know, just defend the all spark. Was that what it was called? I don't know how that would go together. Unless the Transformers all become friends. The Autobots and Decepticons. But I was excited because I just saw Oh, on Prime, maybe? That they have the Transformers movie with the Dinobots, which, you know, in my day, they were so cool. The Dinobots were so cool. They were such a big deal. And if you owned one, you were just like the, the king of the school. You know, if you had a Dinobot, let alone like the Tyrannosaurus Rex one, yeah. You, you own the place. Uh, Angry Birds was the best game in 2014. <laughs> yeah. Angry Birds was great when it came out. Then I feel like it kind of lost something. A lot of games were like that. So we, we, I was all about Cut the Rope when it first came out. What did you find? All right, come here. Okay, thank you. Hand warmers. My kids just got back from summer camp. They were away for a week, and I guess they dropped hand warmers somewhere. Have I ever heard of Sonic.omt? No, I haven't. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, 
I liked I liked the Angry Birds when it first came out. I was saying, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that. I liked. I really liked. Um, what was the one with the zombies in your yard? There are zombies on my lawn. That one. <laughs> what was that one? Plants versus zombies. Yes, yes, that one. I love the first one. I own the first one. I, I beat the first one. And I got the little, little singing sunflower at the end and everything. And it was great. And then the second one came out and I was excited for it. And then I just didn't care anymore. P, yeah. Hello. Uh, a couple other people saying hello, hello. But I like that one. And then there's Where's My Water. I like that water. Where's My Water. I like that one. And then I got tired of it. This is peach flavored water because I typically get asked. Do I like horror games? Oh, thank you for sending it. Um, yes and no. Um, my problem is I don't have a lot of patience with games. So I like games that you can just pick up and put down. So the idle games, kind of like the Plants vs. Zombies and those things, they suit me very well. I don't have the patience to sit down and do a Five Nights at Freddy's all the way through. I've tried it. It was fine. I mean, it was. I liked it, but it wasn't enough that I wanted to come back for it again. Certain ones have... I like more the art style. I really like the art style of horror games. They're like my favorite characters to do. I really enjoy making them just because they're typically, they've got a, they've got the wholesome element to them and then they've got the edge <laughs> that makes them the horror. Like Choo Choo Charles, obviously like a Thomas the Tank Engine knockoff. And then you've got all the Poppy Playtimes and the Five Nights at Freddy's. They have really cool looks to them, but you can see where they're child friendly and then they have an edge. So I really like the art style of them a lot. And yeah, I, so yeah, I like them, but I just don't have a lot of patience, I guess. It's more of a me problem than the game. My favorite game, um, if we're talking about just video game of all time, that's a tough one. I really like the first Smash Bros. Like, even to this day, we will bust out the Wii and play some Smash Bros. I don't like the second one that they made, and I don't like the version on the Switch. I don't like how they changed the characters. But I can always go, go for some Smash Bros. I like the Mario Galaxies and the Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers. Could I guys follow my two developed games? Um, who is that? That's CG, C Gamer YT, YouTube. Do me a favor, um, C Gamer YT, and if you want to put a post on my Cake Tastic Cakes page or my community page, go right ahead. You know, instead of just spamming the chat, if you want to put it there, go right ahead. I don't mind that. But, you know, repeating it on here does start to bother people after a little bit. But like I said, make yourself a post and stick it on there. That's fine with me. I don't mind. So yeah, I like I like the Mario's. I like the Nintendo games. I like Pokemon. I like ugh, I like Pokemon Go. It's fine. It's good for passing the time, like I said, when you're in the car. I like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Violet. I am trying to play Pokemon Arceus now. I'm probably saying it wrong, Arceus. Um, but I hate it. <laughs> it's making me so mad because to go from Scarlet where it's like anywhere your feet can carry you, you just go. And then I'm stuck in this other world now where it's like, oh, you have to go talk to the guy at the gate before you can leave the village. And it's like, Ugh, fine, I talk to the guy at the gate. And he's like, oh, you can only go here, here, or here. I'm like, fine, I'll go there. And then I go there and then all the Pokemon are just murdering me because I'm trying to walk around and like heaven help you if you if you go out at night because then they all come after you 
So I gotta build up my rank and build up my team and do all that. So I'm sure it'll be fine, but man. And someone asked my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's game. I would probably say Security Breach. The first one, of course, is a classic and stands alone as its own inspiration to many other horror games and therefore has I have a lot of respect for it. The gameplay at this point, you know, seems a little more rudimentary, but I just like the storyline of the security breach better. So you're finally, you know, not murdering children as much. <laughs> you still are, don't get me wrong. There's still murder. But it's not as bad. So it seems a little better to me. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just pressing down on some of the parts of Gengar's body here that are behind him. So his one leg is a little behind him. This one's going to be in front. So I'm actually going to put another layer on top. His arms are more behind him. So I'm just pressing down a little bit just so that they're at a different dimension. And everything I press down, I gotta make sure it pudges out on the sides. So then I have to go back and tweak it up a little bit. So that's why I'm not really looking at the chat very much. But I try. Okay, have I ever made a Bendy and the Ink Machine cake? Okay, I don't know who. Uh, yes, I have. You can always tell. <laughs> and it's like no, no hate or anything toward you. It's just funny because you can always tell the people who don't follow me or have just recently found me because I get asked questions like, oh, when are you going to make a Sonic cake? Or when are you going to make a Bendy cake? It's like, oh, buddy. Okay. Well, yes. Yes, I have. I actually made... Mm, was it for a fireside? I don't remember. I made a Sans cake for Undertale. And that was a fire side, and he came out pretty cool. His, his head was a little wonky shaped, I'm not going to lie. But he came out cool. I made his eye glowing and everything. It was fun. And I remade him into a bendy. So, yes, there it is. There's the cake. There's my bendy. And CG Gamer, the Five Nights at Freddy's. Like I said, Security Breach is my favorite. Yeah, there's my wonky sands. But the glowing eye was cool. I get partial credit for that. It's funny, like anytime you do something the first time, it's like the hardest and it comes out the worst. And if I were to do it again, I know I could do a lot better. Hello there, Lucian. Or Lucian, depending on how you say it. All right, I'm gonna add some more layers to him now. If you can eat it, then feed it. <laughs> the first way, Lucian, okay. Yeah, today is your birthday, I don't know who, that's cool. Happy birthday then. I could smoosh some cake into the camera and <laughs> send it to you virtually. Just need Willy Wonka to come through. All right, what am I doing here? Yes, this. Even this is not gonna be much because I'm just gonna do his one leg and his little, his little foot. Make, oh, you made a post about the comment? Yeah, comic, cool. Do I have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. It is Cake-tastic Cakes, believe it or not. I, I tend to run with the same theme. But yes, I know, Miles. I know, or Silver Dude. But yeah, I know. I've been asked about making a pizza tower cake. And I've been thinking about making a pizza tower cake. But I gotta have some way to use a pizza tower cake. So if I can't use the cake, then it just doesn't become feasible anymore, unfortunately, to just make it for the heck of it. Yeah, oh, that'll work. <laughs> You're 13 today, good for you. Oh, you wanna see a picture of the Five Nights at Freddy's cake? It came out really good, I was very happy with that one. It did not look wonky, like my sans head. I'm sure it'll pop up in a second. Mr. Cake-tastic's pretty good at that, if he's monitoring the chat. I know he's been busy today with other stuff. So there we go. Got his little leg. 
coming forward a bit more. I'm just kind of bending it over the edge so it's more rounded than just plopped. There it is, yes. That one came out really good. I was happy with that one. And that's the one I was talking about earlier at the beginning when I said that I made um, the cake top forward style. Hello, David Ox. And the cupcake was an actual cupcake. Freddy was Freddy. He had this glowing eye, which I thought was so cool. And yeah, the other, the daycare attendant was cake as well. And it actually fell. <laughs> All those spikes and everything fell off. Not too long after the fireside ended, I took pictures of it, fortunately. And I think it was that night, um, the face of it, the face of the, of the, of the daycare attendant just slid right off. And it was, it was carnage. But I turned the cake into something else, so it didn't matter. It was just funny because I was concerned about it. When I do these firesides, I try to do everything at once. And a lot of times when I do these cakes, I will put them in the fridge. I'll let things sit overnight so that they can harden and be firm. Like the daycare attendants, um, the spikes on his son <laughs> were very soft. They didn't have time to harden all the way. So I was bracing it with two, not toothpicks, with the lollipop sticks and stuff. Just trying to keep it there. Just until the fireside ended at least. So you could see it all done. But it came out really good, and when you look at the picture, you're like, wow, that looks really good. You'd never know it fell off and plopped and got all mangled up. 3D cake or 2D cake? This one's going to be 2D because I was limited. I was told what she wanted, and that was that. I would, I would have, if I were doing this myself, I would have made him 3D. I would have made a big ball and then do his arms and legs. I would have definitely done a 3D one. Cause that would have been amazing. But I'm doing this for my friend. It's her birthday, so this is what she wanted. October 27, 23. I don't know. I know the FNAF movie, yes, I know. I've been aware of it. I've been watching the trailers. I am excited for it. I <clears throat> I don't know how popular opinion this will be. I was a little disappointed in the trailer. I thought it was going to be taken. Hmm, I still want to see it, first of all. Still want to see it. Still excited for it. But I thought it was going to be taken more seriously as a horror movie. And not so much as a Willy's Wonderland kind of, you know, campy movie. Bee horror, bee horror movie. And I could be wrong. Yeah, and I could be wrong, so maybe, you know, it'll, it just, I'm interpreting the, the trailers incorrectly. That could be. But, I don't know. I just felt like it was going to be amazing, and I was so excited when I heard Jim Henson Studios are going to be in there. And, again, still looking forward to it. Still want to see it. But now I'm kind of got my skepticals on about it. All I'm doing here is I'm outlining the eyes and I'm going to outline the mouth as well. So that when I take this paper off, I'm going to press down into his face to make indentations. So that way his mouth and his eyes will sit inside of his head and body and not be, you know, telescoping out. It'll just look a little cleaner that way. Actually, it'll look a lot cleaner that way. Little tricks of the trade right there. Oh, there's a DLC in Security Breach? Yeah, I did not know that. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. It must Is that what's coming out in October? Because I saw someone say October. Likely. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the animatronics look great. They did do a, a very good job with that. They stayed very true to the style. And even what I could tell, you know, the pizzeria itself and everything, it looked really good. But I just didn't know, I guess, what they were gonna do with the story. 
I was thinking that maybe they'd pick it up with one of the bites or something like that, and it would be like, oh, and this is the origin, you know, do an origin story of Five Nights at Freddy's, but it looks like it's like a whole other spin-off story, like a fan fiction almost. Movies in October. Okay, right, the 27th. Uh, I've never made a TARDIS cake, no. And it's funny because I have a couple people up here who are Doctor Who fans, and I've seen, you know, other Doctor Who cakes and things, and I'm like, I could do so much better than that. But nope, nope, I've never done one. There's a lot of things I've never done that I think would be cool, but again, I gotta go back and do this again because for some reason, these marks didn't come through. Try that again. Yeah, I can see that one. Oh, Doctor Who is a BBC show. Yes, I know. I remember being a little girl in Doctor Who being on. So I guess it was probably like the first Doctor Who. And he's like this English guy with curly hair and a big scarf. And the TARDIS was like a proper telephone booth. <laughs> it wasn't what it looks like now where it's like blue and kind of spaceshipy almost looking. It was just a regular old red telephone booth. Uh, did I make the Puppet Bloody Nights cake? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And that's what I was saying before when I said I nailed it. Because I was very happy with how it came out. And it was so hot and so humid here. And the cake was going in and out of the fridge and everything so much that it was sweating like crazy. But fortunately, it worked that all that sweat made the fondant real plastic looking so it ended up looking a little more smooth and everything hi super san i'm glad you made it you played the game and you died yeah yeah it was a fun fireside i gotta say it was a lot of fun to talk to kazowski about it and just kind of hear his thoughts on why he did things and he put a lot of like really clever little thoughts and uh gameplay into it and unfortunately, he was going to draw his character while I made a cake of it. But his internet wasn't as good, and his program kept crashing, and so it didn't really work. Yeah, there it is. There's my cake. That was a lot of fun to make. That was a lot of fun to make. But like I said, I like the Five Nights at Freddy's style characters a lot. And I've made Pokemon before, mostly as cake toppers. One of the first cakes I made for my son, one son's friend's birthday was uh, a couple of Pokemon trainers with their, what was it, Blastoise and uh, Charizard, I think it was. And it's funny, because it was one of the first ones I did. And like I said, there's a learning curve. But I posted it on Game Jolt back a while ago now. And everybody's like, dang, Charizard is thick. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Charizard's got cake. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, there's my Snorlax I made. That was a decoration. That was a cake topper. He came out cute. I liked him. But I like Snorlax. He's one of my best ones in Pokemon Go that I have right now. Yeah, I was really disappointed, too, when um, the interview with Matthew Lillard, I think is how you say his last name, was postponed. It's unfortunate, of course, and I get it, but I was disappointed. I was looking forward to hearing from him. And it's also kind of funny to me, because to me, he's like the guy from Scream, and he played Shaggy. <laughs> And now he's playing a father figure in a movie. Like a crazy homicidal father figure. So it's like, oh, we're all getting older. We're all growing up. Look at that. Alrighty. I'm just about done pressing down this. See, after a while I get bored with it. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know if you can even see it that well, but yeah, you can see it. You can see the indentations. All right. These are the evolutions. Yes, Willem Dafoe was purple guy, not. Willem Dafoe would probably like give everybody nightmares and probably cause it to have like an R rating or something. So I think they're pro they're trying to keep it PG thirteen because typically the ones who play this game aren't that old. But yeah, he would be he would be something else. I was all excited that he made it back as the Green Goblin. Five Nights at Pizza's, hello. Uh, yeah, I don't know, J, Joeo? I'm, I'm saying that wrong, Bon, as in bonjour, <laughs> or good, or yeah, something else, but hello. You were hoping for an R rating? Why were you hoping for an R rating, Spider Dude? Just for the blood and guts factor? Because I know that they're limited on how much blood and stuff they can do. What the heck color do I need? I need, I need red. What do I do with it? Once again, it wouldn't be a fireside if I didn't lose my colors. <sighs> yep, I'll put it back in my, my main box. You have to leave now? Okay, well thanks for stopping by Burning Letters. I really appreciate it. It's nice to see you in here again. Oh, why is that coming up? I missed something. <laughs> yeah, I have white. I do have white. That wasn't, uh, eh, I guess it was kind of a zombie cake. It was more just blood and guts cake. Because Game Jolt was very kind to me. And let me do what I wanted when it came to the Halloween fireside. And I was given carte blanche. And I had a lot of fun making the guts and the fingers and everything else they were a lot of fun to make because everything i make is so cute and and friendly and happy and can get boring uh william springlock failure yeah i don't know what they're going to include if they're going to include that kind of stuff that's what i was kind of saying before is I thought it might have been something more like that, like, uh, oh, I need my water, like a um, uh, history, um, backstory, how it all began. But I don't know, from what I saw, it looked like it might be a little more of an original story, which could still be very good. Yeah, but the spring lock failure is pretty good. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. This is not exactly matching up perfectly, so I'm gonna mush it. That's better. Right. Have black in the eyes, yes. Uh, the one I'm doing, the Gengar I'm doing, I'm just doing it with the red eyes and like, um, where's my picture? Oh, he's got kind of like the little line, like the little cat slit pupil. So that's what I'm doing. And that would be for the pupil. The irises I'm leaving red. And hello, Sasha. Glad you could make it. I'm doing an eye done for help wanted two. Is anybody excited for help wanted two? Questions being posed. <laughs> You're an ATM machine. Yeah, somebody said something about uh, the DLC for security breach. I didn't know that. There was something coming out. Does anybody know what the DLC is going to be? Like, I thought the whole story was kind of taken care of. Unless it's maybe a different ending or something. Oh. Oh, a ruin. Thank you for the charge cake, Sambay. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
Mm, you're not sticking as well. I might have to pull you off. Redo you. Ruin may be in the maybe sun and moon are broken down. Oh, okay. So they haven't said what's in the DLC. They're just saying there's one coming. Yeah, there's also something coming out for Violet and Scarlet, which I think is going to be at the end of the year as well. If anybody knows that one. They're supposed to open up, I think, a new realm, like a new area to explore, new Pokemon and stuff. Which would be cool, considering I've caught everybody. Okay. Unexpected. <laughs> this is nice. Thank you. I'm glad you think this is nice. Yeah, this kind of thing just takes a while. Because it's tedious. It's like, I'm just, all you can probably see is me going tap, 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 tap. And I'm here going, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's not lining up. That should be there. Okay, walk away. That should got to walk away. Okay. Oh, you you got followed. Nice. Or I did. I'm not sure. But thanks if it was me. All right. Did I cut out the shape? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This um was my template that I used. And I rolled out the gum paste to, eh, you can see the thickness here, and then cut it out. And now I'm building up and building down. And eventually my Gengar will be brilliant. Also, what am I drinking? See, every, every people ask what I'm drinking. It's uh, peach flavored water. It's actually peach mango. It's very tasty. I don't like plain water and I need to drink water because I get thirsty. And thirsty is your, what do they say? You're already dehydrated if you're thirsty. Something like that. I don't know. I think it's just to sell more water. But I like the flavored waters, so yes, mango peach. It is good. It's nice. All right. This is fondant, not gum paste, and I can tell because it's so stretchy and so soft and smushy and gross. <laughs> Your favorite fruit fruit is a peach? That's nice. Hopefully you live somewhere on the east coast then of America because then you can get delicious peaches from either New Jersey or from Georgia. And I grew up in the farmlands in New Jersey and uh, there was this one farmer that was friendly with the people in my neighborhood and he would let us go out into the fields, into his orchards, and we could pick what we wanted. And nobody ever took too much, but it was, you can't beat a fresh picked peach, man. It's just the juiciest and the sweetest and the best. Yes, I do have a YouTube channel. It is Cake-tastic Cakes. You probably could have guessed that. Um, my YouTube channel is more for educational purposes. Like I teach people how to do the stuff that I'm doing. It's all tutorials because I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't have to pay a million dollars just to get a really nice cake for your kid. All you need is someone to show you how to do it. All right, that's pretty good size. Just got to do all my tweaking. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. Oh, you will sub. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you saw the spring trap cake? Oh, it wasn't a cake. The spring trap I made, he was a cake decoration. So he's like a, basically made out of the same idea as like a stale marshmallow. And he's edible. You could totally eat him if you wanted to. And kids tend to like very much how gum paste tastes. Nobody likes fondant, but kids tend to like gum paste. So he was, I think I still have him actually. Hang on a second. I think I do. Yeah, yep, 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 I do. Yeah. 
here he is. Is this the one you saw? Yeah, these are just decorations. So they're hard and when they dry out like this, I made this guy months ago. And as long as he stays in like a cool, dry, like no humidity and not too warm, then he will stay good for a long time. Like he won't mold or get funky. At this point, you're not gonna wanna eat him because ew, it is a few months old. But he sits in my china cabinet and I just like to look at him because he's cool. He's cool looking. But I gotta say, the one that I made, the cake decoration I made on Game Jolt that I love, love, loved, Oh, the Stranger Things cake came out good, right? <laughs> I like that one a lot. I liked both of them, actually. I liked to make the monster from the upside down, and I liked my Eddie shredding cake. But um, I totally forgot what I was saying, so it couldn't have been too important. All right. Oh, right. I was saying the one that the cake decoration I made that I really loved, like I love it, is my Choo Choo Charles, because I love how the legs came out and they're all jointed and everything. Ugh. And they've got the striation and indentation to make it more like um, an exoskeleton. I have made Fortnite cakes, yes. Yes, I have, yes. Mm -hmm. One of the last ones I made was the loot crate, and I had a loot llama with it. Oh, Lunar the Wolf is here. Thank you for the charge sticker too. It's nice seeing you here. I haven't noticed your name in the fire size in a while. So it's nice to see you here. Okay. I need some black now. Got to do some outlining. Then I'll get back to the other cake. And then put it together. Yeah. Just cause. I made a Norman cake from my friendly neighborhood. I've heard of that. Yeah, there's my Fortnite cake. The Loot Llama came out really good. I was very happy with it. And the crate was a crate. So, you know, it's a box. Can't go wrong with that. What is My Friendly Neighborhood? Why have I heard of that? Is that on YouTube or something? <coughs> Man. Okay. Then I was thinking, you know, there's that other one, the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. A lot of streamers play it on YouTube. Okay. And I thought that was going to turn into something, but it kind of, I don't know, fizzled out maybe. So I thought it was going to become like more of a show or they were going to bring it back. Or maybe they've done more and I just haven't noticed. Is that still a thing? Like, is, are they still making new stuff? For the don't hug me, I'm scared. Hmm. <laughs> Roblox. That's the one thing I haven't done. I haven't done a Roblox cake. Another one. This is too thick. <clears throat> and the grass pollen here is crazy. <clears throat> so I'm all. <clears throat> Have I done a cuphead cake? Hmm. <laughs> have I done a cuphead cake? <laughs> yes, I have. I have done a cuphead cake. I made just a very small one, just a real quick, simple one for fun. Back when it was, I want to say, his anniversary of his release last year. Last year? It's been, it's been a year. Yeah, it's been about a year. Yes, it's been over a year, I think. But yes, I did. And that's another one I'd like to revisit. Just cause he's, the characters are fun. All I'm doing is outlining a little bit. It's gonna be a little on the thicker side, but eh, I don't care. Beam, beam, beam. He's like, hello, I've got big, big mouth. And I didn't put water there, so it's not sticking. <clears throat> yeah, there's the cuphead I made. 
and that is all cake right there but I had it covered in fondant so when I you could pick it up and hold it like a cup and then we ate it hmm <laughs> yeah, I can't stand this. This is way too thick. So it's got to come off. Sorry. Beautiful. Yeah, I like the cuphead cake. That was fun. And there are certain things I'd like to retry as well. I would like to try... I don't know if cuphead would be a good one. But something maybe even simpler but to do it in the comic book style where it's outlined and it makes it look like a drawing or like an illustration like something like him he would be fun to do like that to have it 3d and look like a picture but gotta have the time that's better. It's not as thick. It's not quite so crazy looking. And it just doesn't reach. So I'm going to smear it down. There we go. There, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> it would be cool to do. I just don't see it happening. Because again, I'm kind of limited by what, what I can hand off on people. But that's okay. Maybe one day. Or even if I did a really small one, that might be worth trying. Because I was thinking even something pixelated like Pac-Man, just doing a Pac-Man standing up pixelated would be really cool to do. It would be hard to get his little squares all perfect, but if you could get them cut well enough and then outline it, that would look really neat as well. Okay, this paintbrush has had it. It's all split. Sometimes it's like, I feel like uh, in episodes of Hoarders, where they're like, yeah, I can't get rid of anything because I have a plan for it. <laughs> it's like, yes, I have all these plans. All these what ifs and one days and maybes. And stuff that I've held on to that eventually I have to get rid of. Because I'm like, ooh, that would be neat to stick on a cake, or ooh, that would be neat to make as a prop, or whatever staging staging a cake and it's like no no mm -mm. it's not gonna happen let it go dooby dooby doo whoops go. It's looking sinister enough. <clears throat> I just need to make the separations for his teeth. And then I'm going to give him a little bit of shading. But just a smidge. So he's got a big one single tooth in the center of his head like normal people do. And I'm just blotting it a little bit because a lot of water came out on the paintbrush. And black will bleed. The color will bleed out of this into the white if I'm not careful enough. So we don't want a puddle.
hopefully I'm not yet at the same time. I'll make sure my big old noggin's not in the way. Okay. That's enough of the black. Ugh. Sticky. A little sticky. This is just some purple food coloring that I'm going to take a little bit of with some water and I'm just going to shade them in a little bit. If it gets to be too much, I can always add some extra water to it and just bleach, not bleach, but like uh, wash it out. And then use a paper towel to suck up any of the extra if it's too dark. Kind of like that. Wait for the paintbrush. This one's making me crazy. You're making me crazy. Okay. And this is kind of fun for me to do too. I like doing the little stuff like this. So it does make a difference in how it looks. And it's not a lot of work. There was nothing wrong with them just being, you know, purple and that's it. But this just makes them look a little better. As long as you do it right. go under his eyes a little bit. Go under his mouth a little bit. Need more water. Just about done with this, I think. Okay, I don't know if you can see him that well, but it looks a little better, a little bit more shading. This is too much though. That's better. Dash better. And I used to have, I don't know if I still do. Let me see. Yes, I do. Ha ha ha. I have white food coloring. And this stuff is crazy. It's just kind of hard to get a hold of for some reason. Whoops. There you go. Now he's got little highlights in his eyes. It's like sparkle, sparkle. Okay, I'm going to put him aside now, clean up a little bit, and then get the cake out for some icing. 
So it's pink and girly, right? No one can send pictures because, uh, yeah, uh, the settings are usually set that I don't, I allow the GIFs to play, but I typically don't allow pictures. And even, you know, the GIFs can get shut off if they get too, too squirrely. But if you have a picture you want to send me, Spider Dude, um, if you go to the Kicktastic Cake community, there's a section there for fan art, so it doesn't have to be like art of my stuff, just whatever you want to share. So you could put it there, or you could send it to me in a shout. You could do that too. <laughs> yeah, painting is fun. It is fun to do. I do so very little of it, but it is fun when you get to do it. It's like everything else, you gotta have the time to do it. All right, yeah. This is much firmer than it was before. So let's move you, put you there, move this. And then I don't need these anymore. Move this in there. Sit by the fish. Trash, trash. Trash can. These can go over there because I don't know if I want to wash them yet. Those go there for now. For now. All right. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to make a border around this thing. Let's make sure we can actually see it. There we go. So I'm going to make a border around the edges. And I don't want it too big, so I don't think I'll probably use this one, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll use that one. Yep. So in order to make it look more girly and pink, I'm going to try to just kind of do some basic borders on it. Yeah, send some of your art. That would be great. Like, I love seeing the stuff you guys make. But if you go to the grocery, ooh, go to the grocery store, you'll see those... Um, the, the borders that just come up and then swirl down and up and swirl down like waves basically like a string of waves that's what I'm gonna try to do I think around the two edges that'll hide all this roughness because I wasn't paying much attention to it because I figured I'd hide it and yeah go from there mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So these are the bags I use for piping, these are reusable bags, so I have to wash them. And they're very beat up and old and tired. But I feel like at least this way I'm not throwing, you know, plastic into the trash every time I make a cake. Sometimes I use the disposable ones, I will admit. They are very handy because you don't have to wash them. Very nice lazy man's way out of things. And this is my pink. Hello doggy. She knows just when to show up, don't you? Yes, you do. Nice cake, Riz cake. I like Pokemon. I like Pokemon too. I do. I enjoy it. Generally speaking. RCS, I want to murder. And then you have to like hide in the grass and ugh. Anyway. Anyway, I'm going to complain about RCS now. Because then you have to hide in the grass and you have to go report back to your to your professor guy, the scientist guy. And then he's like, oh, wow, I think you should tell the leader of the village about that. It's like, no, they don't need to know about it. But then sure enough, off you go back to the village. And I've been running around on that weird nosed reindeer thing that I just discovered can actually like run and jump. <laughs> so I put more trotting around <laughs> on the reindeer thing until my son saw me. He's like, why don't you run? I'm like, what are you talking about? And I hate this game. So yeah, doing better with it. LeChonk. <laughs> you know I love LeChonk. <laughs> yeah, there's a video of how much I love LeChonk. When I first started playing Pokemon Scarlet, the first ones you hit are those Lechonks, and I was trying to kill them all because I didn't want them in my world. I was, I was purging. 
the Lechonks out of my my Pokemon world, which is not a good thing, I guess. I don't know. So up and down, up and down, and this is going to be up and down, up and down. And this is the problem. When you get a little blob like this, you got to clean it off. Otherwise, you're going to drag through your icing and make it a mess again. And the really good people, which I am not, are able to be like bam, 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 and they just do it all in one steady stream. But I am not there. I don't do a lot of icing. I do way more sculpting. That one's just terrible, so it's coming off. I do way more sculpting and shaping than I ever do with icing. And I prefer it this way. No, stay there. Another one's coming off. It's definitely frilly though. And I'll tell you what, too, it's like those people who really work with icing, man, they're good. They can make such cool things. And I guess like anything else, it's all about the practice. All right. That looks moderate. Whenever I do these cakes, I often have, you'll often see a clean rag sitting here. This one needs to come off. Another problem with icing in a bag is that your hand will warm it up as you hold it because it is butter based and the more warm it gets, the softer it gets, the looser it gets, the shinier it gets. I, mean, I don't know if you can tell down here, I can see it. This is like this little area down here is much more shiny than it is at the top. And when I open the bag, you can see how shiny and soft it is. And if it gets to be too much, I'll actually scoop this out mix it back up and then yeah start all over basically especially in the summer when my hands are hotter anyway so spider dude has to leave well goodbye spider dude thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit i appreciate it i appreciate it it's nice when you guys stop by Okay. Well, there it gets harder. That little sound right there was an air bubble, and that can ruin, yeah, that can mess it up. Because all of a sudden now you've got this pop of air that sprays the icing out and makes it look messy. So you gotta take it off and start again. Okay. <laughs> that is something. Not my style, I'll tell you what. But hopefully she'll like it. I will say though, if you do this kind of, of piping in an ombre, so you've got like rows of different colors, 
it does come out really pretty and nice looking then. It really will then. It's just, this is just not my style. I need you to move, doggy. Don't look at me, cute. All right. I'm just gonna add some more color to it. You know, whatever. <laughs> Tell how enthused I am by it, whatever. Some color, whatever. Do I want a charge sticker? Sure, I'll always take a charge sticker. And thank you for it. You know what, I want a different tip. I'm gonna try this one. Oh, that's too big. Yep. Oh, it's gonna be close. It might pop out. Be interesting if it does. You'll give it to me only if I say the magic word. Is it abracadabra, alakazam? Please and thank you. <laughs> when my boys were little, they used to watch Yo Gabba Gabba. And they had this whole song that please, thank you. It takes me back. Nope. It starts with a P, but it's not please. Uh prestidigeration. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, it popped right out. That's not gonna work. Darn it, darn it. Darn it. <laughs> oh, I got a, a charge TNT. Thanks. That's very nice of you. Very kind of you. Searing this thing is such a mess. Also why I don't like working with icing. It is a mess. Give me a nice, you know, cutting board and some fondant and gum paste any day. Try this again. And when I'm putting it in, I'm trying to smush it against the sides so that I don't get any air bubbles. I don't need it farting on my cake. So we shall see. Okay. Okay. Hello there, child. I'm just gonna make some loops. So tell me if I evenly spaced my my loops or not. Hello, Jinichi. I see you. I'm not gonna throw your ball right now. Sorry, pup. Shall we? Okay. Okay, that is, <laughs> again, something. <laughs> that is something. And I'm just trying to fill it in with anything I can think of to make it look frilly and frou frouy. So that's what I'm doing here. Getting 
gonna put one down there. All right, there we go. More filled in. And I guess I could do the same back here. Should have started on the back first because again, uh, this is the second time I'm doing it, so I'm more comfortable with it. So it's coming out a little smoother. Yeah, all right. That's enough of that. I don't think I can handle much more of that. Get it one right in the center here. Alrighty, this looks almost like a stage, like a really frilly stage. Anyways, game drill creator next thing. Uh, <laughs> thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, like I said though, this is not my style. But hopefully it'll hopefully she'll like it. Do what matters. Ugh, everything's getting sticky. Sticky sticky. Alright. <laughs> nope. Yep. Do I want that one? No. I tend to like the open tips more than the closed tips. I'm gonna go with that one. I like the way they look better. Need to add some purple to it because I feel like there's not enough color, which is kind of what I was afraid of. So, purple something, yeah. And eventually, Gengar will take center stage and then it will be good enough. <laughs> I think I need new purple. Okay. Doesn't look like it, but it actually is going in the bag. Oh, my son's home from work. Video game. I am streaming right now, so everybody's going to know you're home from work. You should be able to see it. No, it doesn't work. Okay. I'm just going to squeeze and twist a little. Just to make weird looking bunchy flowers. you just squeeze once while you're twisting but I'm kind of piling it up because again I want it to be thick and I want it to be frilly pink and frilly they look almost like weird little rosebuds or something okay this can't turn on me much better with a little purple in here. Do, 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 do. I don't know if I should have it. I'll do it here. Yeah, that is something else. <laughs> that is so gaudy. <laughs> wow, that is so not my style. Oh my goodness. I mean, it certainly is it's something. Oh, 
That's another thing too. It's like people are like, oh, you've made cakes in your own home. What do you mean you're charging, you know, for your time and effort? It's like, yeah, this thing, well, it's kind of a gift, so it doesn't matter, but I know. And people will do those like cake fail compilations and everything. I look at those and I'm like, those people wanted that. You could tell they wanted that tie-dyed beanie baby wedding cake. And the person who made it nailed it, so you shouldn't say it's a fail just because you don't like the style. You should at least be able to say, well, it's not my taste. I wouldn't prefer that, but it's well executed. that way with everything now. All art styles are like that. All right, so that's something that happened. I'm just gonna put one in here. That's another thing I do wrong too, is I tend to make my icing thick. When you're piping like this, it's better to have it thinner, a little looser, so that you're not squeezing and straining your hand so much. Boy, that is something else. <laughs> Ooh, definitely girly, I guess. <laughs> Some girls, anyway. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more with the loop, loop in the front, and then I'm going to stick the Gengar on, and I think that's going to be it. I don't know how much more I can do. Um, ooh, this one. This one, this one. Yeah, this person, this friend of mine that I made this for, I last year I did a Sailor Moon cake for her. And that one came out really cool. I was very happy with it. And I like the idea of doing a Gengar cake. Again, just not necessarily my style of Gengar cake. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the colors will go well with it. That's true. This is when, too, you know, a little thinner icing would be a lot easier to work with right now. <laughs> I wonder if my turntable could lock. That would be helpful also. And back here, I'm just going to do this. Because I do not putting a Gengar back here. Oh no, it fell. And one more like that. All right, now for Mr. Gengar. Miss Gengar, the Gengar. Okay. I going to stick this in the fridge for a minute. I want to do a little more to him first, so I'm not thrilled. I think it could be a little better. Okay. What I'm going to try to do, what I'm going to succeed in doing, is I'm going to use my food coloring markers allow you to draw and write on whatever you want and I'm going along the edge so I'll go along the side of the marker and along the side of the decoration and that way it will outline him just a little bit so I think it'll look better make him look a little sharper unless I mess it up 
which could happen. Let's see. Oh, can't even see him. There we go. Yeah, right? Like, it looks better now, I think. Sometimes it doesn't take a lot, just a little something. Just a little something. I gotta fix that up there. See, that looks better. That looks a lot better. It needed to be outlined. Okay. Get the cake again. Do not drop. Do not drop. Now to get this, gotta move that up. To get this to stick on there, I'm just going to put a little bit of water on its back and that will melt the icing a little bit and make it stick to it. But like everything else, you can't add too much because you'll wreck it. Everything is so delicate, so fragile. And when you stick something like this on, i got to make sure to do the top well and anything that sticks out. Like a main torso, you know, that's going to stick just fine. But you don't want the top curling or falling over or anything like that. Because that will just ruin the look of it all. Okay. It looks like he's on stage. <laughs> on a very frilly and lacy stage. Yeah, Gengar, there you go. And I've got some beads that I'm going to stick in here and there. Just because I can. A couple of purple ones. And this is where sometimes I go off the rails. Like sometimes it looks really nice and other times it's like, ooh, I should not have done that. No. These I could put, hmm, nah, I'll stick with this. I don't know, gray or pink? I'm thinking I should do pink. Oh. Just a second. All right, got a much bolder pink. might be too much. No, nope, I think it'll be okay. Do, do, do. I think it 
think so. Whoops, that's gray. there that's a little bit better it's so busy <laughs> it is so busy oh my gosh wow I'm gonna do on the one side I'm gonna do on the other oh okay that actually works yeah so busy this is like diabetes and cake form. All the sugar. A lot of sugar. Alrighty. I've got some white ones. <laughs> Can you eat it? No. <laughs> nope, this is going to my friend. My friend Jessica. Definitely does feel like a circus show or something. That's good. I think this is good. I think we're done here. I don't know that I can handle doing any more to it. So yeah, there you go, guys. A frilly pink Gengar cake, because I know what you think of when you think of Gengar is frilly and pink. <laughs> it's something. It's It looks nice. It does. It's just not what I'd choose for myself, that's all. What do you think? Frilly and pink Gengar cake? It sure is. <laughs> he came out pretty good, though. I like him. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like you said, the execution has been completed. It so, looks good. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed this um, interesting little foray into a different avenue of <laughs> style. And you can't have any. No. How do they like it? Um they want to eat it so you know that's good <laughs> and the execution was good yes yeah a different style is always good to try as long as i didn't have to do this for my job then that would that would make me sad i would i don't know that i could handle that give me the give me the five nights of freddy's characters give me the choo-choo charleses of the world so there you go <laughs> excellent <laughs> you, you give it okay all right, well, thank you very much, guys. If you have any questions for me, anything like that, let me know. Otherwise, I am going to sign off and go start baking another cake. So, no more questions? All right, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye. He's got to go in the fridge. <laughs>